Hello friends, in this video tutorial you will be seeing what is called ActMT Artemis Bridges. What is the purpose of Artemis Bridging? The purpose of the Artemis Bridging is used to receive the message from the source queue and then relay them to the target address. So it should be typically an Apache ActMT Artemis server. Okay. So the source and the target servers need not be on the same cluster. So it can be transferred from the across different networks. It can be a WAN or internet where the network is unreliable. Okay, so the bridge is built with the resi resilience to the failure. It means that whenever uh, there is a connection is broken between the source and the target broker, then only when the connection is up, then a message will be transferred from the source to the target uh, servers. So, so the so whenever the connection failure has been occurred. So the source will be uh, frequently communicating whether the target broker is available. It is only when the target broker is available, the source queue is connected to the target address will, so that message will get transferred from source to the target address, source broker to the target broker. So with the code bridging, the both source and the target should be the Apache ActMP Artemis server. Uh, that we can also do the bridging from uh, ActiveMQ Artemis server to the IBM MQ server for transferring the messages. But this is with the core bridging, we, the source and the target should be ActiveMQ Artemis server. So the the final uh, uh, finally it guarantees one, once and only once delivery using duplicate detection. There is a configuration called duplicate use duplicate detection tag in the, inside the bridge uh, tag. So that we will see that uh, in later in demo. Okay, so you, whenever the use duplicate detection is set to true, this configuration will guarantee that uh, message will be transferred only once from source to the target. If there is a duplicate detection is uh, detected, then the message will get discarded. So this is one such uh, configuration that is very useful when we transfer from messages from the source to the target server. So assume that uh, this is the network topology. Suppose if, you, if I want to transfer from broker A to broker C all the messages from the Q1 to Q3, so it should go via broker B Q2. Okay. So this uh, configuration that is what is going we are going to configure. Suppose if uh, if we want to transfer the message from broker A to broker B. The network connection should be established between the broker A and then broker B. So, so the network uh, uh, will get uh, the broker A will transfer the message from Q1 to the address of the uh, broker B called Q2, and then from broker B, uh, broker B listening to the Q2, and then uh, message will get transferred from Q2 to address of the broker C called Q3. So that's how the message has been transferred. So this is the configuration that we are going to see in the demo. Now we will see the demo for the Artemis bridges. So I already downloaded the Apache latest distribution Apache Artemis 2.29.0. Now we are going to extract it. So now I am going to create an Artemis server for the broker A, broker B and broker C. Now I am going into the bin folder. So you should already configure the Java home. So I already configured the Java home. Now I am going to create a broker. Artemis create broker A. Now it will ask for username and password. I will supply the username and password. As I am supplying username. Now I am going to supply password. None of my allow any success. I am I am specific test no. Broker has been created. Now I am going to create a broker B again in the same manner. Okay, now I am going to create a broker C. Make sure you supply the same username and password for all the brokers. Okay, now we got broker A, broker B, and broker C. Now I am going to broker A etc folder and then I am going to edit the broker.xml. So if you see the bro in this broker.xml, we have the configuration 61616. So this uh, port is going to be modified for all the brokers. Okay, so 
So now if it is broker A, I'm going to provide the default ports, all, all ports. Okay, now I'm going to configure the bridges. So this is for the configuration for the broker A. So I'm going to specify it as a broker A basic bridge and your name is the should be configured before uh, configuring the bridges. We have to configure the queue also. So I'm going to start the queue, broker A, broker B and broker C. So broker A is Q1, broker B is uh, Q2 and broker C is Q3. Okay, so this is for broker uh, B bridge, basic bridge configuration. So this configuration I'm going to uh, uh, specify it in the broker.xml. Okay, so in, in this code, I'm going to supply, uh, configure this broker A configuration. So before configuring it, I'm going to go into the broker A. I'm going to start the broker A. Use RTMS run. I am going to supply the username and password for this uh, login. We have addresses, click on the addresses and click here on more. Here you need to provide a create address, it should be Q1. Okay, I'm going to put it as any case and create address. So inside the Q1, I'm going to create a, a Q, any case, and create Q. So now we got a Q here in Q1 in broker A. So I'm going to configure uh, similarly for broker B. So before configuring in broker B, I have to change the. I'm going to edit the bootstrap.xml in broker B. So it's so it should be 8162. So the port 8162 is for web console for the broker B. The broker XML, I have to configure the uh, ports, all the ports, because it will it will clash the broker A's uh, ports. So that's why we have to configure the broker dot in broker.xml for the broker B. So it should be I'm changing the modifying the Artemis port, AMQP port, Storm port, Hardnet Q and then MQTT port. All the port I'm going to change it as 61617, 5673 and 61614, 5446, 1884. Okay, now here broker B has been configured for the uh, ports that will not clash the broker A's port and broker C's port. Now, now I'm going to start the Artemis broker B using Artemis run command. So URL is configured. So I'm going to start the 8162 console port. The password, you supply the username and password for this web console in broker B. Now addresses, put addresses and click on more, create address, it should be Q2, it should be any cast, create address, click on uh, create Q, now here uh, so make it as Q2 and uh, routing type is any cast, create a Q, okay so now we got a Q2 uh, is available in the broker B, and again similarly for broker C, I want to configure the ports. So bootstrap.xml is 8163. Okay. And similarly for broker uh, in broker.xml, I have to configure the port for the open wire, all the protocol ports. So we have made it as 61617 here and 61618. 5674 because for broker B. 
is fifty five six seven three and uh, storm port is six one six one nine. I'm going to modify it. Storm port and five four four five is five four four six and five four four seven is for broker C and uh, MQTT is one eight eight five. Now we got uh, all the configurations. Now I'm going to start the broker C. You go to broker C home and the broker C bin folder. I'm just starting the Artemis server. It's Artemis.cmd run command. Now we got the console URL. Now close 8163 console. So now we are going to configure the Q3 here. Q3 in this broker. So in broker C console, we are going to add a new queue called Q3. So here addresses, click on more and click on create address. It should be Q3 and it should be any cast, create and in, inside the Q3 addresses I am going to configure by clicking on more and create queue here uh, Q3 is the queue name and then uh, routing type is any cast now we, we, we have to create a queue now we got a queue Q3 so now we are going to configure the Artemis bridges ok now I am going to stop all the servers Now I'm going to edit the broker.xml. So this is for broker A. So broker A should have the bridges and broker A bridge. I'm going to configure the queue is going to listening queue is the Q1 and forwarding is the Q2. That is the broker B address. So username and uh, password is uh, should be same for all the brokers. Okay, I'm going to use static connectors Artemis 1. So I'm going to configure the broker in the broker.xml. I'm going to use connectors. Okay, for connectors, Here the connector name is equal to Artemis one, and then the port uh, port with the uh, with the uh, host name is local host colon eight one six one six one seven. Okay, so this is going to be the connector. So we are going to you forward it to the. Uh, Artemis server broker B. So now I'm going to configure the bridges and I'm going to place that in before the core. Okay, so here the broker A basic bridges Q1 and forwarding address Q2 and then username and password is going to be admin and the connector will be the static connector with connector reference Artemis 1. This Artemis 1 will have to match with this name, connector name Artemis 1. So now we configure the connector and we are going to save it. Now similarly for uh, broker B, we are just going, going to configure the Q is Q2, forwarding address will be Q3 and uh, username and password is going to be the same for uh, broker A and broker B and broker C and the static connector is going to be Artemis 1. So this Artemis 1, I am going to place it in the broker uh, B, broker.xml configuration. So the broker XML configuration before the core, I am going to place it the bridges configuration okay so bridges configuration broker b basic bridge and you have the artemis one so this is going to be configuration like connectors okay so the connectors configuration i'm going to place it in the broker dot uh, xml inside the core configuration okay here you can see that right here the core configuration inside the core configuration i'm placing this in connectors and then broker so if broker C is host name and host name is 61618. Okay, so now I'm going to configure that as 61618. I'm going to save this Artemis 
broker B's configuration. So now we have configured the broker B completely. So similarly, so now I'm going to start the server. So broker A I'm going to start it. So now broker A is trying to connect it to the broker B. Since we have not started broker B, it is retrying. Okay, so now I'm going to start the broker B using command artemis.cmd run command. So once uh, we got the connection uh, from the broker B, the broker A has got, we will able to see that it is connected. Now broker B is connecting to the broker, trying to connect to the broker C. Now we have to start the broker C. Okay. So now we have started the broker C also is getting connected or broker B also is getting connected and broker A is also getting connected. So now we got uh, all the connections. Now we will try to send uh, messages from broker A. Here we got the bridges, right? So now I'm going to send a message to, to the Q1. So if you click on bridges, click on more and click on queues we will be able to see the consumer count as one so we are going to send the message to the queue one okay so now i'm going to send the messages after sending the message we will be able to see that in the broker c okay so i'm going to create a message with a message id the uh, for the messages so this is for creating a unique message id so that it will be sent to the broker a to broker b and and it from broker b to broker c Okay, so now I'm going to set, send hi from broker A. Okay, I'm going to send a message. So now it will be sent to the broker C. You can directly go to the broker C and supply the username and password, the login, login in. So here addresses, if you go to Q3, Q, skinny cast, Q3, and click on more and click on uh, browse queue. Here we can able to see that, right? We got messages from broker A to broker C. So that's all about the bridges. Thank you for watching.